Hi everyone! This is a really easy project that you can do all year round, not just for the holiday time. It's custom stamps and custom wrapping paper. I love this craft. It's so easy and there's a million options and it's very creative and all it takes is different large sheets of colored paper. You are welcome to use white. That's a very easy color to use. I also buy these big bulk rolls of craft paper and many craft stores have large rolls of colored paper that you can cut pieces off so I have green and black and blue and red and then you need some pre-cut pieces of cardboard and you'll see I love going to the post office to get some free supplies I just took a priority mailbox, cut it up into squares that are maybe three inches by three inches and that will serve as the background to the stamps. And then you need foam sheets and again the color doesn't make a difference because we're going to be putting them onto stamp pads. And you need glue dots, I use these to attach the stamps to the cardboard. Obviously scissors to cut out the shapes and as you can see here I've got a heart and a star and this was made around the holiday time so this is supposed to be like a Christmas tree and let's see I even made well I tried to make fun snowflake shapes but I'm not sure if it succeeded and then you just need some ink pads so let me show you how to make this let's get started let's begin so in my intro, I did not mention that you are welcome to take a Sharpie or a light pencil to outline the shape that you want to cut out on your foam sheet. You can also do this freehand since most of the designs should be relatively simple and actually not too detailed because it can be hard when working with a stamp pad to pick up all the tiny details. So cut out the foam form and then using one of those sheets of pre-cut cardboard Pick up the Zot dots, those fun little glue dots, and put at least four or five around the edge of your foam stamp. And be sure if you're doing something like a star where you have points that you put a glue dot on every corner. So push down firmly onto the cardboard back because you don't want it to lift off when you are stamping it. And now pick the color that you're going to use for your wrapping paper. I love black because it produces a really gorgeous contrast. And I'm using a small stamp pad here, so what I'm actually doing is kind of, I'm almost painting with it onto the foam pad as a way to get the ink over the entire surface. Obviously, if you have a larger stamp pad, you won't have to make a pass over it so many times. Figure out where you want to place your design, push down firmly, and try not to jiggle it so it leaves a blur. And then, voila! you have your first stamp. And that looks kind of fun actually. It looks a little bit like a cloud maybe or a flower. I'm going to repeat it here. And again, this is where you have total creative freedom in creating whatever pattern or design you want. It could be an organized pattern or random. I'm going to use my other star stamp and add some designs to this. And also don't forget, you could add Sharpie afterwards and go into the various stamps and add details to make it more interesting. It's really up to you how you want to do this. And before you know it, you're going to have a gorgeous sheet of custom handmade wrapping paper. Enjoy!